Hey guys, Tank Oscar Mike. Um, it might be a little dark because uh, it's uh, it's like 6.30 here, but there, we do have a lot of cloud cover coming in, so hopefully it come out okay. I'm going to show you what I have going on here. Um, I haven't set up the buddy pull yet. I'm going to set that up again. But I have a ground spike with a um, basically a CB clamp adapter, uh, three-quarter inch mount with a 20 meter um ham stick and as you can see i'm using the aluminum screen from home depot and i had it off to the side but i was worried that without the ground plane directly underneath it so i literally just punched a hole through the center with a spike um so and there's an alligator clamp on there as well uh, and it's clamped to there. Right now I'm getting one uh, 0.8 to one. So I'm gonna have to do some adjustments. Uh, I'm sure I'm gonna have to adjust the whip a little bit. But, uh, so I'm gonna get the buddy pull set up. The buddy stick, I keep saying buddy pull. The buddy pull buddy stick. Um, like I said, it's a great kit. And using the end fed really wasn't a fair comparison. I know that, you know that. Um, but I did wanna see the difference. So this, it's probably a, a more fair comparison. This is probably more like a Wolf River coil type setup. So I'm gonna set them up and just do some signal comparisons and see what I get and uh, we'll go from there. So it's been uh, a long day. I worked, worked out this morning and then I worked uh, my normal shift and then I cut the grass. Uh, I actually cut some of the grass the other day before it started raining and I uh, finished it tonight. And then I planted the garden tonight, which uh, took longer than I, I thought it would. Uh, me and my wife grilled out as well. Um, so here's what I got. The ham stick is set up. The best I can get on the ham stick is 1.7. Um, I, I tried a couple of different things, but that is the best tune I can get on it with that as the ground plane. Um, I don't know. I don't know what uh, would help it or what uh, wouldn't. Um, I know it's tuned better than that before with radials, um, but I haven't used the ground plane directly underneath it before. I did get it tuned lower when I just had the ground plane before um, up near the driveway but I think that affects it. And there are trees right above it. Maybe that has something, maybe that's affecting it a little bit, but um, it's 1.7. The buddy stick, now I gotta tell you, I took the tap off because I put it all away because I thought I was done with testing. I was like, eh, I'm not gonna do any more testing. And then I thought, why better? So I put the, the buddy stick up. I counted the taps down 13, like you're supposed to. I think that's what it was, 13. And I ran the counterpoise out to where it's supposed to be and I got a 1.3, like first try. O honestly, first try. So uh, I'm pretty impressed with that. The reactants on that is minus two ohms, which is good. On the ham stick, the reactants is minus 17. So, um, but I think we're good enough to listen to some signals, so let's uh, go ahead and do that. And let's just see if we can hear anybody. So, And if I feel like it, I'll make a, a call out. Augie's running around. He's having a, a ball. He already had dinner, which is good. So that's on the buddy pool. He's five... Five eight five nine, and on the ham stick. Oh no, sorry, I had that reversed. My apologies. On the buddy pull, five eight, and on the ham stick, he's five nine. Even though it's not tuned as well, that's that's what I'm getting. So let's find another signal. On the ham stick, 
Now, I think he was 5'9 on the buddy stick. He was 5'8 on that one. So. Now this is on the buddy stick. I am located 50 kilometers south uh, from the capital city. Okay, in a place called Punta Hermosa. Punta Hermosa, beautiful Punta. He's bouncing from 5.3 to 5.5. Punta Hermosa. Okay, got it, got it. Also, uh, correct your signal. 5.9, 5.9, you jumped up. And the guy talking to him is 5.3. Okay, Luis, we, we know you've got a bee's hornet nest going here. Uh, and... He's louder on the ham stick. Thanks for taking the call, and uh, have a very good evening. Oscar Alpha Ford, Delta Alpha Golf, November 5, Sierra Bravo, Romeo. Gracias, gracias por contacto. November, November 5, Sierra Bravo, Romeo, Oscar Alpha Ford, Delta Alpha Golf. Yeah, uh, definitely. Thank you very much for the time. You have time to confirm it. You have to get us from... He is definitely louder on the ham stick. That station, anyhow. So... Kilo Echo 5, Yankee. He's. I can barely hear him. He's just barely tickling the meter. So let's go to the ham stick. Ah. I can't hear him. On the hamstick. This guy actually sounds louder on the buddy stick. So these two antennas November seem to be very comparable. But I'm not going to be able to get either one. Now, Benny, to you. Uh, to Great Barrington, Massachusetts. Uh, <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, thank you so much for the call. Uh, Hi, bud. You gonna sit on Danny? You gonna sit? Alpha Lima Papa Hotel. That's what he does. You sitting on me? You having fun? You gonna slide off? He's shaking again. Okay, bud. November three, Whiskey Sierra. November 3, Whiskey Sierra. November 3, Whiskey Papa Alpha. Good afternoon. Oh. Uh, 50, excuse me, 57, New Mexico. My park is uh, 2704. No uh, November, whis <laughs> November 3, Whiskey Papa Alpha called them. I thought it was me, man. Thanks to the land of Lincoln, and I uh, appreciate the call. I, tur I turn on the preamp. Kilo Echo 5, Yankee, Yankee, Charlie listening for parts on the air. November 3, Whiskey Sierra. So I turn on the preamp, you can hear him a little better. November 3, Whiskey Sierra, QRP. So, so these two antennas are more comparable. Um, believe it or not, since I've had this antenna, I have not made a contact on it. 
or actually, I think in the last video, I think I did make one contact on the buddy stick. Um, I think. I'm not positive. But I know I made made them on my end fed. Uh, and I have very little doubt that if I went and put my end fed up in a tree, that I'd be able to make contact with that guy. Um, whether that's true or not, I don't know. But I feel confident that it would work. Usually when I can hear somebody, I can you can usually work them for the most part. And I know I've, I've gotten New Mexico before. Um, I might even have gotten that station before. So, yeah. So I'm, the buddy stick is out for me. Uh, I think any vertical is out for me. Um, maybe this with a bunch of radials, and I can try that later. Is maybe, um, but I, I've had this ham stick for a while, and I know I've tried a bunch of radials on it, and I just never was happy with it. I always went back to my buddy stick uh, or a dipole, and I think it's just too much of a comp. Uh, you know, for QRP, these antennas, I think they're great. If I had a uh, a hundred watt rig. You know, I, I, I'm sure I'd have a lot better chances of getting that station. Um, I could definitely hear them, so that's not a problem. So I'm sure um, it would really up my odds. But I am a QRP um, enthusiast, let's say that. Uh, I only do QRP. Now, uh, field day, obviously, I do 100 watts with everybody else at my club. But um, I do enjoy QRP. We did QRP for winter field day. Uh, you know, I think we were only allowed to run five or five watts, uh, for winter field day. No, maybe it was 10 watts, but you know, I just get a kick out of QRP. I think uh, that's it. It is, uh, a little, uh, a little after seven now and no contacts, but I was able to compare the two antennas and they are very comparable. Some signals were stronger on the one antenna than the other one. Um, I will say this about the ham stick. Um, the ham stick has a couple of Allen screws and you have to move the whip up and down to tune it. I seem to have to do that every, every time. No matter where I set it up, it always seems to get a little bit different tune. That could be ground conductivity or whatever. Um, but it always seems to be a little bit off. And it always seems that, that I'm always moving that whip. So in that case... A Wolf River coil would probably do better. Now, I'm sure a Wolf River coil with the 17-foot whip would probably be beat both of these. I, I have no doubt. Um, and I'm still considering that. I'm still considering purchasing that. I might just do it. It's only $120. Um, I think that might be a good option. Because these, these aren't... You know, they're they're compromised. A 17-foot uh, whip is uh, almost a... Um, it's not really a compromised antenna at that point, as long as you have a good ground plane, good radials. Uh, Michael, KB9VBR, has done a couple of other videos with his Wolf River Coil in that exact screen. Um, same measurements. So... And I think I checked online, it was $120 for that setup, which is a lot cheaper than the Buddy Stick... Uh, it's not cheaper than that, obviously. That's 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 as cheap as you can probably go. Um, but it has the tripod. That doesn't have a tripod. I'm using a ground spike. Um, obviously, that wouldn't work in a parking lot. I have to retune the ham stick, like I said, all the time, depending where I am, which is a pain in the butt because it's an Allen key, uh, where I think the Wolf of her coil, uh, just shortening or lengthening the whip would be better. But so now uh, I'm going to clean all this up. Uh, I'll show you the uh, show you the buddy stick there. Uh, but so I need to clean that up. I need to clean my tarp and my quick deploy ridge line uh, that I saw Dave Canterbury do, and he just released another video where he updated it again. And I may I may do that with mine too. Um, that works with the this tarp. Uh, and it also works with um, my poncho. I can do that with my poncho too. And it's nice to be able to do that fairly quickly. So I'm, I, may, uh, I may set that ridge line up. Now my ridge line I made extra long. 
um, because I can never seem to find two trees that are exactly the right distance apart. Either they're too far apart or they're too close, and I'd rather them be too far apart. So my ridge line um, is uh, is a little longer, I think, than most. I, I'm not sure what it is. It might be, uh, you know, 40 feet or something like that. So I don't mind carrying a little extra paracord. But I'm going to get this all cleaned up and head inside and get my second shower for the day. I got one this morning after I worked out. Well, I hope you have enjoyed uh, me trying to figure this out and see what antenna is best for me. Um, now that I know that these two antennas, I'm going to get the buddy stick packed up and sent back to its rightful owner. Uh, Mark, thanks again for letting me borrow it. Um, uh, you saved me some money. Um, not that I wouldn't buy that. If you're a 100 watt person and you're doing 100 watts, it would work. I still think an end fed uh, or a dipole is going to work a lot better, but that would work. And you can set that up anywhere. Like I said, a parking lot or anything else. You can't always do that with the, uh, with an end fed, unless you have a mast on your truck, which I can do. But like I said, I can't run the truck as you all know, um, with my mast on the truck, which is really, a, it's really bumming me out. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to uh, pack this stuff up and get Augie and head inside. This is Tango Oscar Mike saying 73 and take care. Tango Oscar Mike. <laughs> what are you doing? You ready for daddy to clean up? Hmm? You ready to clean up? Ready to clean up? Love you, buddy. Everybody. Everybody.